Hello friends. In this video we are going to see how to swap the nodes of linked list without copying them. Like uh, if we are given a linked list and this is the first node is the head and let's say we are asked that swap the nodes 2 and 4 or 2 and 5. So one easy way you would think that why not traverse the list from the left? We found two, we know its position or, or we know exactly that uh, we want to swap 2 and 5. So we are given that swap 2 and 5. So we will see when we start iterating we see that 2 is here. So put 5 here and continue further till I find the other node that is 5 and put 2 here. So simply copying these values. But this is a very expensive process. In this case it's a very cheap process because our linked list node has just uh, one element that is one integer. But it one node can represent a very big uh, data structure also or, or a very big big record like a, uh, a e-commerce site maintains the list of its uh, customers when they have purchased which item so uh, that can contain the name of the customer age date of birth the list of items he had purchased in the past and on what dates and so on many other fields like telephone number address etc etc so this can be uh, a very big uh, structure in itself and uh, if we start copying one by one then it will be a costly operation so our aim is that we should be able to do this swap operation in O1 time that is constant time and it should not depend on the size of the data so we have next pointers so our aim would be to just some change of pointers so that will take constant time so if we have to swap any two nodes in a linked list so we have one node here let's say node A and somewhere in the list we have node B so the result should be that B should come here A should this node the entire node should come here and this has one previous node that is pointing to this node and there is a next node. Similarly for B. So let's say we have this previous node is denoted by PA and next node I will denote by NA and similarly for B, PB and NB. So we have two pointers here and two pointers here. So in the end what should happen? So PA should this pointer instead of pointing to A so let me first draw the complete picture. So you see that PA was earlier pointing to A. Now PA is pointing to B. So basically we need to change this pointer and make it point to B. Then B was pointing to NB but here B is pointing to NA in the resultant so this pointer should also be updated to point here now look at this side PB was pointing to B now in the result PB should point to A so this pointer should be updated to point here so this is third operation and now A was pointing to NA but now in the result A is pointing to NB 
so this this pointer should be updated to point to this this nb so four pointer changes are needed and now these two become equal these two are equivalent so changing this pointer takes constant time so this would be our approach now there are a few scenarios here so so what are the scenarios like uh, here we had a notion of previous node whose next we were updating but it may be possible that we are asked to swap two nodes out of which one is a head node then there is no previous node previous node is null so we can handle that case separately so in that case what will happen uh, this four should come here and one should come here and the head node will so head node word was earlier pointing to one now head node will point to four so first of all one will once next should point to five because in the result one will come here and three will point to one and four should point to two so this is the first update one will point to five and four will point to two so whatever was the next of one four will point to the next of that and whatever was the next of four one will point to that so both next pointers are exchanged four's next becomes two so whatever was the next of one becomes next of second element so we have updated this now the previous will remain same so its previous force previous should now point to one but and one's previous should point to four but one has no previous so instead of that we will change head and head will point here now if you redraw this picture what will happen head is pointing to 4 so let's draw 4 and 4 is now pointing to 2 so draw its next keep drawing the next of other 2 is pointing to 3 3 is now pointing to 1 and 1 is now pointing to 5 and 5 is pointing to 6 and 6 to null so there is a minor change required when one of the nodes is head similarly my, uh, I think there is no other case so in the simple case where none of the nodes is head we just change their previous and next pointers so the next of this should point to the next of other node and vice versa and the previous of one node should point to the other node so four pointer exchanges here also four pointer exchanges now uh, let's write this in the code so uh, now I will start writing a function for swapping the nodes and it should take one pointer to pointer to head because head node can also be updated and two integers which will denote the values stored at the nodes so let's add a few base cases like if both values are same then return or if the pointer is null then return or the head node is null 
that is list is empty then also return then for traversing the list we will need current pointer and one previous pointer So this will be the current node where we are in the list and it's this will be previous node. So these two will increment to next next while we will be traversing through the list and whenever we find that the value at the current node is equal to A or B then we, we will save that pointer to node A and node B and also their previous two this previous to this previous A and previous B. So now let's traverse through it. So we are interested in on, only two cases. One if the node is A or node is B. So these two are the cases we are interested in. In this case we will save node A equal to current previous A is equal to previous and similarly in this case node B is equal to current and previous B is equal to previous and then we will update the previous and current pointers so whatever was current now becomes previous and current becomes its next then when this loop terminates then we will reach to the end because then only current will be null and it may be possible that we did not find either A or B or both in that case these nodes will remain null because we did not find any A and it remained null or we did not find B and it remained null so once this node uh, this loop terminates we will check that if node A is null or B is null then return because we did not find both the values so we don't have two nodes we need two nodes to swap them if the two nodes are not present we cannot swap So here we are guaranteed that when we reach to this point both node A and node B will be present because if any one of them are missing then we will return but previous is not guaranteed because we saw in one example that if head node was one of the nodes then its previous did not exist so that is a special case so if previous A is present we will handle that case else it means that node A is head similarly we need to add this case in that case B is head now what should we do here if previous is present what we were doing so what 
whatever was the previous node so whatever was the previous of a its next was earlier pointing to a but now its next should point to b and similarly for the previous of b so we will write exactly that so previous of a is next so earlier it was so this is the existing state so we will change it to point to b similarly for b previous of b was pointing to node b so this was the existing state we will change it make it point to a so we are done with this case now what should we do with when node a is head so when node a is head suppose this is a and this is b so if a is head then we will make b as the new head so head should point to b and if b is head then move uh, make head point to a so in the else case we will write exactly that so if node a is head then now head points to node b and if node b is head then head points to node a so we have changed the previous pointers now we need to update the next pointers so a is next so a will now point to next of b and b will now point to next of a so we will change that so we need a temporary pointer for that and store one of the next pointers here now we will update node is next to point to so now node so whatever was node b is next becomes node a is next and whatever was the earlier node a is next so now it's updated so we had saved the state what was the next of node a into temp so whatever was the next of node a now becomes the next of node b and we are done so we have updated the next pointers and the previous pointers and now let's check this so let's first print what is the list so we have this list let's uh, swap 20 and 50 so swap nodes Twenty, fifty, and then print the list. Okay, so earlier twenty was here, fifty was here. So in place of twenty, fifty comes, and in the place of fifty, twenty is there. Now let's take another case where we are swapping head also. So let's take. 10 and 50 so what should be here 50 should come at the head and 10 should go here so let's print that ok so earlier 10 was head and 50 was here now 50 has come here its head and 10 comes here so uh, let's take two adjacent nodes so let's take 10 and 20 
So we 